Have you ever been bothered by sharp, annoying noises when metros are turning? Those are called squeal noises and are caused by wheel resonance, which occurs at curved rail with rigid fasteners. Wheel resonance and squeal noise can be mitigated by wheel damping ring and soft rail fastener. The remaining problems is noise radiation from rail resonance. Rail resonances relate closely to our daily lives, especially in a big city like Hong Kong. Many specialists have put in great efforts to understand rail noises and figure out ways to tackle it. You might be wondering, are there any effective solutions to mitigate the noise? Well, yes, but you first need to understand how the resonance are formed. Before we get into details, there are two main properties of rail vibration you need to know about. It's vibration direction and the track decay rate. Firstly, let's talk about rail vibration direction. On a straight track, the rail is mainly vibrating vertically due to gravity. However, when the train is running on a curved track, the rail would also vibrate laterally due to lateral force provided by the rail to change the train's direction. However, the rail wouldn't be forever vibrating. So how does it stop? This depends on the track decay rate. Track decay rate describes how far the vibration travels along the rail from the excitation point. In the case of rails with low track decay rate, all the energy from different train wheels will be accumulated at the rail and make noise issues even worse. A soft rail fastener is usually installed to isolate vibrations where there are groundboard noise problems. This measure is very commonly used in underground tunnels. However, it usually lowers the track decay rate, offsetting the noise-reducing effects of the fastener. In 2019, the London News reported that installing a soft rail fastener has caused excessive in-saloon noise. Now you understand that rails vibrate in two directions, and why track decay rate matters. But how do they relate to resonance? We have to first talk about how rails resonate. The most common is pin-pin resonance, which are in both the vertical and lateral direction. Lateral pin-pin resonance is excited by the train's wheels turning motions. It's one of the causes of rail corrugation. If combined with low track decay rate, which are very common in modern railway tracks, it can create a negative feedback loop, which makes everything worse. This is why noise issues usually occur at curved tracks. Rail dampers can suppress rail vibrations and reduce noise radiation. However, effective rail dampers are only recently developed in the last decade. Our Q damper, which was invented in Hong Kong, is a rail damper with a tuned mass damping mechanism, which is the most effective at suppressing structural resonance. Combined with our patented technology, it reduces more than 20 decibels of lateral rail vibration and suppresses 90% of corrugation growth at the tuned frequency of 570 Hz. Rail resonance is the source of most railway noise issues in a city. With years of experience in railway noise control, we have researched and developed the Q damper. And now, we want to share everything we know with you. Jabez Innovation Limited for a quiet rail. We focus on research and development in acoustics products and services for the railway industry.